Hello people, Joff from Mo Hotel Adventures, back with you for another instalment of Saturday in lockdown in Devon. Um, today I'm talking about awning tie-downs, uh, just as a little subject change again this week. I know you guys are um, looking for advice and stuff like that, so uh, today we're going to talk about securing your awning. We've had some bad experiences in the past where the wind picks up and your awning can flap around. It can go whoosh, over the top of your motorhome, rip the side of your motorhome out, big trouble. And sometimes some of the some of the places we've been in the past, we uh, for example, we were on Lake Balaton in Hungary one summer and we were just out watching the view across the water. The all of a sudden the which earlier on in the day i would had my awning out and uh, shading from the sun beautiful day really high temperatures and the next thing we were out on the on this jetty on lake balaton not too far away from our camper van but we were just taking in the scenery uh, watching the clouds roll up in the backdrop forgot all about the awning which it had been tied down uh, anyway, uh, the next thing, these clouds are like rolling in. They were the blackest clouds on the planet. And uh, we were kind of like, oh my God. So we're busy, we're busy snapping away with the cameras, watching all the ambience of the um, changing moods across the water. The next thing, the rain started and we're like, dash it. The wind picked up. We're dashing back to our motorhome. And we're like, oh my God, the awning. So we were in like terror. And... Uh, and I, I think I had one of these side panels. I had a Fiamma at that stage, a Fiamma awning, and we had the full uh, sides for it. And one of the sides, it, I, I put one of the sides up, and it was just catching the wind like a sail. So we were like, no. So by the time the wind picked up so quickly, and we struggled to get my awning back in it was it was such an we we someone helped us actually someone helped us we were i was trying to like wind it in hold the end hold it in my wife was with me holding it down someone came to assist us and we managed to get it back in but it was like so skinny your teeth and we've been in these like um places before places like croatia where you get in like the bore of winds come off the mountainside and it can it, it just rocks up so quick and you just are not expecting the the power of the winds down there. Some of the winds are all, all I can explain. A bore of wind in Croatia is very similar to like being in a a, a tumble dryer. I should think. Not that I've ever been in one, but um, I, I can imagine the. It was just like the hot air, the wind. Oh my god, it was so scary. It, it was it was almost like scary. And we've we've really sort of like take noted of of um, conditions. Uh, in in previous trips after that because you've just got to be so careful the weather can change so quick so we have today i'm just going to show what we have here today i'm going to just chuck this extra light on we have here we have the chuli tie down straps so at the moment on this motor i have a chuli almond store uh awning and um so we want to make sure that's secure in um, conditions and stuff and just generally every time it goes out and we're staying for a few days so these ones here they just hook into the the legs hey j just as a, a matter of interest i'm going to um one one day when the weather's better and we get on a, a reasonable site i'm going to get my panoramic room out and show you how that goes up uh, so that is going to be in a, f a forthcoming video and um, then I can literally probably demonstrate these a little bit better. Uh, obviously, we're stuck in the um, the lockdown at the moment. So uh, I th I'm just just chucking a few things out there, seeing um, seeing what we get reaction wise, what people sort of information they want. But basically, these ones here hook onto the legs of the awning and then you secure to the ground these huge pegs and so we obviously take in our kit in the back we take a nice lump hammer to get these in into the ground and um, then you secure the other end with these springs they clip onto there and that one obviously then goes onto that one and then that goes up to your awning. So it's under a kind of like a tension with the spring, which is um, 
that's the way it works. It just allows everything just to move slightly. So uh, that's our Chuli tie downs that we use. And the next little kit we have here is the Peggy Peg system, which is just a general pegging system. Let me just, uh, I'll get the old, uh, just turn that around a minute so you can see the logo on there. We met the guy actually that runs the company of Peggy Peg D de in germany we, we met him in um from germany and we met him in um let me just get this open look at all this all these flaws in this <laughs> this video it's terrible but it, it all makes good uh but good watching for you guys so in here yeah we met the guy in croatia he had a huge great concord and he had it super super wrapped with um all the peggy peg logo all over it and we we were literally going up to look at to see what the it was all about and we got chatting to him and he was like I'm the guy who does these uh, Peggy Peg systems for uh, motor arms, and we're like, wow, that's pretty cool. So in the end, we um, he done me a, a super duper deal. So we was having a bit of uh, bit of banter with him and stuff, and uh, so he um, he sort us out a really good deal on the system, the bag, and all the system. Right, what I'm doing here actually, because I've I've done an actual modification to this Peggy Peg system uh, myself. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you the actual Peggy Peg bracket. Now, with the normal, well, I don't need to actually undo them bolts anymore. I've, I've, it's, it's just a little bit tight on the studs that I've made these um, brackets with, these plates, ground plates. But the actual Peggy Peg base system is like this. So it's designed for your leg of your awning to sit in there they they've made it so it takes different size legs as well and what you do it's a quick release mechanism for your awning leg so for example if the wind picked up really quickly and you want to was it in instead of taking out your pegs that you've pegged your legs down with which takes time these here you can just retract these little plastic lock-in plates um and really quickly off and then the leg comes out of the uh the system and away and wind your awning in so uh that's how the 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 ground plate works in in the peggy peg bag so they do pegs of different sorts um they do metal ones and the plastic ones in different sizes which can which normally go through this blue plate i i've done an upgrade back along last summer um occasionally we've been on um camper parks and stuff where you can have your awning out and stuff and the ground is like tarmac so i made these ground plates out of, out of steel so um so it they they the the, the peggy peg goes on them i i've, I've sunken the, these studs into this plate so it uh, so the plate sits on there and uh, with all these um nuts so these are the ones that we were just undoing earlier on so we'll just throw them back on there so it's a nice little weighty now it's become a nice little weighty plate which will it's it's very heavy so i've got two of these and then my awning so if i want to just put it out and just have a so if there's like a me maybe a bit of a gentle breeze and I, there's no way of securing it very well um so then i can put these under the legs clamp them in and that just gives me that extra bit of weight on each leg and if, if need be you know you could always find some uh, bits of um block or something maybe to sit on top of there but that's fairly weighty that's I, I wanted to do it in like really heavy heavy metal to just literally give us that weight to pull them down you know um and then obviously you can always come off with your uh strap if you've got something like if there's something lying around that you can um use and yeah in, and basically in this kit there are some other tie down the peggy peg system which slips into the awning these um slip into the awning along the little uh uh little apertures along the front of the awning and um, so they just literally give you this system there are a there's a key there and they give you i normally take a uh, rechargeable drill so i can rattle these into the ground and you go into grass these all like fire right down into grass they go through that 
that plate and um, they'll they'll rack it down really nice they give you this little key so obviously then you can um, if you haven't got a drill you can wind them down with that key and there's some extra springs in there so you put your peg in and you can wind it down with that but what I do is normally put that in the chuck of the drill and then I can uh, fire them down they give you some locking collars look so you can put some locking collars on there if, if the peg doesn't go all the way into the ground you can just lock it off and um, tighten it down that way so that's basically the peggy peg system they give you some extra what these little hooks that go into these small squares so if your plate's anchored to the ground you can put that in for extra security and stuff uh running straps down but obviously awning security is another number one important thing for us it's um it's one of those things you just don't want that to ever happen if you can help it and uh, like i say it's just worth from our experience in the past and um, if you're like a newbie or something, just make sure if you're winding your awning out, uh, you, you you make sure you get it strapped down. Or if there's any doubt of the wind picking up overnight, you know, we've had our table blown out, our chair, we've been in, you know, European countries and stuff, the winds can pick up really quick. Uh, wherever you are in the world, it can pick up super quick. Keep an eye on the weather forecast and um, you you because you never know. Yeah, so basically, um... The other thing I'm going to talk about today, so in the, in the uh, in the lockdown, while we're in our motel on wheels, that's how we classed this thing. This is what it's all about. It's our motel on wheels. And so another little tip that I wanted to tell you guys about, and uh, I don't know how other people, we kind of try and keep our motorhome fully kind of kitted up most of the time with all the stuff that we need as regards like shampoos, uh, all the, my, my wife takes loads of stuff like that, um, loads of like cosmetics and stuff. And uh, like I say, I, I take all my shower gels and my hair products, blah, blah, blah. So basically we try and leave a certain amount of stuff in our camper van. So we've always got something in, in stock in the van. And uh, the other thing we tend to try and do, I have a, so we've got separate, little wash bags so when if you're on a campsite and um you want to go to the shower block and use their facilities um we take our little we, we keep these fully stocked up so we will have an an extra toothpaste in here i've still got my toothpaste in there got a couple of um toothbrushes got some bits and pieces in the bottom there some shampoo and stuff so i try and keep it when, I, when I'm actually away, I'll, I'll have this bag fully stocked up as well with all my stuff in there. And then if I need to go for a shower, it's all in there without taking things from my motorhome. So I've always got stuff. I've got another toothbrush. We've got more toothpaste in our toilet, in our um, shower cubicle of our motorhome. Yeah, and what we try and do on our trips... We try and live the best life. If you're living the best life and you're away, you're having a good time, and you and you and there's some different smells in your motor room and stuff. We we tend to um, get this stuff called rituals. It's uh, we we discovered it over in Holland. Uh, all the um, the Dutch people and stuff they they're loving this ritual stuff. And hey, we started we started we got into rituals, and um, it is such a nice product. The the smells of their stuff is just incredible. And uh, I've just, I've just actually, we've just had this come through from Rituals and it's a new um, scent, probably totally the Ritual of Myrrh, I think it's called. I don't know if you can read that, Myrrh. And it is the latest one they're doing. It's just like so nice. So what we've got, we've got a, a couple of shower gels and we've got some like body cream. And this stuff is just incredible stuff. And like I said, it, if you're just in your motorhome and we just love to have it like smelling totally different. And uh, we've, we, you get sort of like, you, you, you get smells that we've um, used in the past and then you, you get a whiff of it. And it just reminds you of a, maybe a place that you've been to. And, um, yeah, so we, that's that's another thing that we just love indulging in some really nice. I don't know if this thing is open. I think we had it, and let me just turn that. Okay, 
a nozzle on. Oh, that could be it. So we have got some of this stuff, which is, um, this is the room fragrance that they've sent through. Room fragrance, the ritual of myrrh, myrrh. And this stuff you can just literally spray around your motor. Let's have a little spray. Let's have a little spray. Ah, oh, walk into that. Oh man, it's just like very citrusy, kind of orange smelling. And um, ah, oh, it's really loving it loving it so another one so i'll be keeping this in my motorhome and then uh when i want to um just have a little smell like that and it's just it's just so luxurious but uh well uh, that's what we do we get some really nice shower gels all your shampoos and stuff get some in different body scrubs and um yeah we we just at the end of the day, this is when you go to a five star hotel, you go in the the um, showers and the, uh, the the bathroom facilities and they normally put out some really nice products and stuff. And, you know, we, we've sort of been to some of them places before and and you, you get them smells and stuff. And it's really nice to to relive some of them moments in a in a, in a scent. So, uh, like I say, we, we use this is our five star hotel on wheels. And this is your five star bathroom, you know, so whoop it up get some luxurious products and um enjoy your enjoy your hotel you know so basically that's the end of me today and uh, i'm just going to wrap it up there uh hope you've enjoyed the video uh, i know it's a bit um yeah a bit different maybe but so uh, it's things that um we sort of enjoy doing having a bit of a bit of a giggle just putting it out there and uh I think I picked up, picked up maybe a couple of subscribers this week, which is a is a is always a good thing. But uh, so if 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 you come across stumble across this crazy video, um, I hope you push the uh, subscribe you know subscribe to the channel, and uh, hopefully we can be, bring you a bit more content as time goes on, and uh, see how our video editing and photography improves. <laughs> so, but uh, thanks for watching, and we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.